Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. This is Teresa. Welcome to my home. This is my 2019 fall home tour. And we're going to start off in the enclosed front porch. And I did get a couple of new things this year. Over here on this little table in front of the window is a candle holder. It says blessed and it has, has little pumpkins on the front. Isn't that adorable? I got it at the Dollar General. And that was new today. I bought it today. And then, of course, this tree is always out here. And I didn't get anything new for it this year. It has some scarecrows, some flowers, some grungy sunflowers. I bought these on eBay like 50 years ago. And it's got lights. And then next to it's a wire basket. These pumpkins, these three bigger ones, this was a project I did the other day. They're from the Dollar Tree, and they were metallic. So I covered two of them with material and some jute. This one I just painted and distressed a little bit. And then this one, I think, came off of a, a garland or something. And then above that, I've got a fall wreath. Actually, I think it's a candle ring, but I always hang it up like a wreath. So... And then over here on the sewing machine, I got this super cute pumpkin. It says, Hello Autumn. And it's got some pine cones and berries and a leaf. I think I paid $3 for it at the Dollar, Den at the Dollar General, which I thought was, well, let's look and see, because I don't think I took the price tag off. I must have. I don't remember how much it was. It was 2 or $3, but I thought that was a good deal because it was super cute. All right, let's move into the house. Right when you walk in the door, there's a little stand at the end of the couch. I have a candle. Uh, what scent is it? Hold on. Hazelnut cream. And then in this basket, I've got some little fake pumpkins. And I think these came off of a garland, too. And then over in this area, where we have our bookcase and the desk and a couple of chairs, on the desk, I've got... A little wooden sign that says Happy Harvest and an owl. And that Happy Harvest sign is metal. Super cute. And then up on the banister, I have some leaf garland and lights. Is there anything prettier than white lights strung around a banister? And then over here on top of the bookcase, all I really did over here is added some orange berry garland and I think that is it oh, oh no wait down in this wire basket I have an autumn pillow and let's move into the living room next to the door is this thing which I don't know what it is what is it somebody tell me if you know is it a like a yarn thing? I don't know. Anyway, I bought it a long time ago and I hang my Happy Harvest wooden sign on it. Over here on the love seat, this is new this year. Grateful Heart is a Happy Heart. And it's kind of burlappy. Oh! I bought this, at, I think I got this at the Dollar General a few years ago. And it just has some, you know, fall words on it. Black frame. And up on top of this cabinet, I've got some leaf garland. Wow, that doesn't you even see that. And some pumpkins. More pumpkins. More garland. Pumpkin. Some more leaf garland, some pumpkins, and then in front of the fireplace, I've got some fake pumpkins, some leaf garland. Um, this is more Halloween, not fall, but it's a ghost. It's a wooden ghost with a light in it. I always love it. I think it's so cute. And some more pumpkins. And 
I've got another pretty pillow. Hello, fall. And there's the stairway. I'll get to that in a minute. That shutter has a thing on it. And I'll tell you about it. Now let's go into the dining room. This is my new fall centerpiece I made this year. I painted some jars, put some burlap, and stenciled on them. And I filled them with some Dollar Tree flowers. <laughs> Good old Dollar Tree. Hey, their flowers are nice. And over here on the closet door, I've got a cute scarecrow head. And then on the doorknob, a cute little pillow that says home, and the O is a pumpkin. This is actually always hanging here, but tis the season, so give thanks. Oh, what else do I got in here? On top of my Hoosier cabinet, I've got some leaf garland and a sign I got at TJ Maxx a few years ago. And in the corner, on top of these crates and boxes, this is a pumpkin, a copper pumpkin. I got it at TJ Maxx as well. And I just simply fill it with beautiful fall flowers from the Dollar Tree. This isn't fall, but I did buy it lately. Isn't that cute? Fresh baked pie served daily. It's a lie, but it's cute. And over here is a high chair. I don't have any small children, but I'm expecting my grandson any minute now. So I bought this cool kind of vintage high chair for him to have over here. And uh, I just hung a little towel over. It says grateful, and I am grateful. Moving on into the kitchen area. On this wood cutting board, I have a lovely plate that was a gift from a dear friend. Um, a towel that has, you know, the old red truck on it with some pumpkins. And inside my glass jar, I have, you know, I wanted to find some leaf cookies or some kind of autumn cookies of some kind and shape. Of course, I couldn't find any, so it's full of snickerdoodles. And over here, all I did was just put some little stems of whatever that is on there. Here's our coffee area. Listen, we take our coffee very serious here. You want quick coffee? We got quick coffee. You want slow coffee? We got slow coffee. You want French coffee? We got a French press. Do you want a percolator coffee? We got a percolator too. Look, we got whole beans, ground beans, flavored beans, because coffee is served fresh all day. And then above that, we've got our matching mugs that kind of match that sign. And that was purely accidental, but I thought it was cute. Over here on the frigelata, um, some fall magnets I bought at the Dollar Tree a few years ago. And I get them out every year. And then over here on the sink area, I've got this bowl and pitcher, and I just put some fall flowers in there. And in the windowsill inside those graters, I just stuck some pine cone stuff. What else do I have? Oh, over here on the doorknob. What does this one say? Harvest blessings. Oh, I forgot the little half bath. I did get a couple things for that too. It's so funny one, I don't know if I ever told you this. One time I had a party, uh, you know, just like a housewarming party. And my cousin came in here and used this restroom. And she told me it reminded her of a little phone booth. So I kind of turned it into a phone booth. I got an old retro phone in here and um, I wallpapered the backs of the stairs with pages from the phone book. Oh, just kind of a funny thing I did. Anywho, um, so behind the toilet, Harvest Blessings, Share, Joy, Grace, Autumn, Leaves. And then another little thing from the Dollar General. And that's super cute too. Let me see how much I paid for this. 
Dang it, I must have taken all the price tags off. That's not like me. So anyway, yeah, I got a little stuff, a little something something in here too. Alright. And there's Scotty! Cause he's a Scotty. What are you doing? What is that on the floor? Huh? What are you doing? Alright, moving on. On the island here in the kitchen. Let me give you a good look at this island. Derek built this for me. And he put a pot rack underneath. Isn't that awesome? Oh, he's amazing. Okay, so on the top here, this three-tiered uh, serving tray was a gift from my daughter. And on the top tier, I have some faux caramel apples and I did a kind of a tutorial the other day of how I did these and then on the second shelf I got a little I think that's a fox and some pumpkins and some fall flowers and such and this is just a roll of burlap that I cut a runner I actually wish it was a little darker burlap but whatevs and then on either side I have a candle and then over here on the stove, on my stove board, I added some leafy garland, a couple of fall boxes, and another little owl, which kind of matches my owl salt and pepper shakers. And then on the front, my towel says, hello, fall. Now there really isn't anything on this stairway well, these are fall flowers. I'd like to say I did it for fall, but they're always like that. So hang on. Let's go to the second floor. Oopsie, I almost forgot to show you this gorgeous wreath I made. I don't know. I shouldn't say it's gorgeous, but I couldn't figure out what colors to use, so I used them all. I mean, I've got purple, I've got burgundy, I've got orange, gold, white. <laughs> And a burlap ribbon but this is on the front door as you go in the house from the porch as you go up the stairway from the living room there's a shutter at the landing and this I know it looks like a mess it's what it looks like it actually is a wire pumpkin and I decided that it needed something so I put everything on it and now it just kind of looks like a, I mean, it has all the fall colors, but you really can't tell it's a pumpkin. But I like it. I think it's cute. All right, let's continue up the stairway. We'll go into my bedroom first. Okay, this is my bedroom. I have a couple things in here. Over here on the mantle. Now, this berry garland is always here. But I added these red flowers and the pumpkins. Gives it a festive touch. Mm, nothing fall to see over here. And this is my dressing room. It's very small. I got my ironing board. There's some dressers in here. Nothing, no fall stuff. <laughs> Okay, let's go into, I'll show you my craft room. Okay. I don't have real proper storage. I just kind of gathered up odds and ends from around the house to, you know, to keep things in. I got my toaster oven so when I bake my miniature clay things, I don't have to go downstairs and turn the oven on. And this is my like work area and I do have some bins and some totes and then inside this cabinet is um, my miniature stuff so far and Derek's girls also made some little um, like room boxes they wanted to do a miniature thing and then there's my big house and that's it uh, the diner my 50s diner I'm gonna be working on Derek actually built the shell so it is coming along 
and I got a lot of food that I've made so far. It's going to be a process, but it's, like I said, it's coming along. This is a closet. And the funny thing is, I'm going to kind of use it as a nursery when Charles comes, my grandson when he's born. I mean, he probably won't sleep if he stays on ice. He's sleep in here all night. But I thought this would be a nice, quiet place to lay him down for a nap. You know, away from the television noise and things like that. So, I did find a use for this little closet. Okay, bathroom. Um, let's see. Oh, above the mirror, I've got a couple of arrangements and a little wooden sign that says Happy Harvest. And then over here on top of this cabinet, I've got, let me turn the lights on in here. Above the cabinet, I've got a Happy Harvest pickup truck. And so because it's got the red, I added some red flowers here to kind of pick that up. And then really the only other thing is I put some fall flowers up here. And then I couldn't resist this other red truck thing. It says simply blessed. And I quite, quite agree. Okay, you know, uh, let's go up to the third floor. I'm going to turn this off till I huff and puff up these stairs. Okay, this is actually um, the third floor attic. And Derek has two daughters, and they come and they stay. So, we kind of created a, a space for them to hang out. They each have a twin bed, and they each have a desk. And... There is a television, a game system. We don't really see them that much when they come over. No, I'm kidding. Come on, Scotty, you don't have to be afraid. Anyway, I, I put some fall stuff up here for them too. A couple little scarecrow things. And this thing says trick or treat. So yeah, it's a, it's a nice space for them. It is plenty big enough for the both of them. They enjoy it. Okay, hang on. Okay guys, well that's all I have. And I hope you enjoyed it. This uh, is actually a collaboration I'm doing with a good friend of mine on YouTube. Her name's Christine and I will link her channel below. Um, she does a lot of decorating. Her home is gorgeous. She's as sweet as she can be. And her and her husband are getting ready to do some remodeling. And she's going to take us with her on that journey. So check out her channel. Until next time, I love you guys. See you next time. Bye-bye.